Can you imagine having something like this on your desk, something you use every day? Well, here's one right here. This is a Texas Instruments TI-5040 desktop calculator all the way back from 1976. And this guy right here is not something you carry around with you because this guy plugged in the wall. Now, not to confuse anyone, this is not how big a calculator needed to be in 1976. A good example of that is we do have a little professor calculator from the exact same time frame, 1976, and clearly it is not as big, it, re it takes batteries. And this one does, you know, not the same thing, but very close. This was on the desk of someone who I would figure would maybe be an accountant, a bookkeeper, something like that. Something where you were doing and playing with numbers just all day long, typing things in and getting your work done. So let's quickly take a look at the keyboard on this thing and see all the functionality that it has. Starting on the left side, we do have the clear button right at the top. Next to it is the percentage button, the advanced printer button, division, printer on and off, P for printer, division, and multiplication. Moving towards the center of the keyboard, we do have the typical 789 all the way through the normal functionality, same layout as any modern day calculator. And then all the way on the right side, we do have the minus, the plus, the total, the subtotal, and the memory functionality buttons. Up at the top here is a, is a switch that does slide back and forth for F and A. F is for floating point, A I believe is for arithmetic. From what I can tell, this switch is either very loose or broken as it feels like there's nothing grabbing inside as I slide it back and forth. One other interesting bit is that even though it looks like this printer section can open up, it is just molded that way to make it look like it's a separate piece. This does not open whatsoever. We're gonna go ahead and switch it on right on the side here. And as it turns on, we do see the screen light up. We do hear the printer whirl up. The first thing we are gonna do though, is even though the printer is pretty cool, we don't need this thing printing everything I do. Also, even though it is, uh, I believe a thermal printer, it's not quite working as well as it should. So I can advance the printer, I can push it up, I can even type in a couple things, and it might even print those things out. However, it's not gonna print out very well. So I'm gonna simply turn the printing functionality off now getting to the basic functionality of this unit is where things get a little interesting. So if you were to do your typical, say five times five and equal, you would get 25 like any normal calculator, be it historic or modern. But when it gets into addition and subtraction, that's when things get a little more interesting as far as how this works. Now, if we were to press five plus five and then equals, we get zero, but interestingly enough, that A does show up on the left side of the screen. I found that the A does mean something. It is holding numbers in kind of an accumulated memory, so to speak. Not the memory as far as these function goes, as far as holding a number for you, but almost like a running total, which has to do with what this is for, which of course is bookkeeping, accounting, ledger work, stuff like that. So if we have it back to clear again, and we do five plus five, and then after that second five, we hit plus again, signifying that we're done putting numbers in, and then instead of hitting the equals key, we hit the total key, we get our total. I'm gonna show you that again. So say we do five plus three, plus again, then total, and we actually get what we're looking for, which of course is eight. So these subtotal and total buttons do play a key role in the full functionality of this calculator. I can imagine there would have been some training for a new person to use this unit at the office. So I hope you guys found this calculator as interesting as I do. Um, again, this was the Texas Instruments TI-5040. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.